In a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 2447, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, warned that oppression will become a darkness on the Day of Judgment. This is vital to avoid as those who find themselves plunged in darkness are unlikely to find their way to paradise. Only those who will be provided a guiding light will be able to do this successfully. Committing oppression will therefore prevent one from obtaining this light. Oppression can take many forms. The first type is when one fails to fulfill the commands of Allah, the exalted, and refrain from his prohibitions. Even though this has no effect on the infinite status of Allah, the exalted, it will cause the person to become submerged into darkness in both worlds. According to a narration found in Sunan ibn Imajah, number 4244, whenever a person commits a sin, a black spot is etched on their spiritual heart. The more they sin, the more their heart will become encompassed by darkness. This will prevent them from accepting and following true guidance in this world. This in turn, will lead to darkness in the next world. Chapter 83 Al-Mutafifin, verse 14. No, rather the stain has covered their hearts of that which they were earning. The next type of oppression is when one oppresses themselves by failing to fulfill the trust they have been granted by Allah, the exalted, in the form of the worldly blessings they possess, such as their body and wealth. This trust is fulfilled when one uses every blessing they have been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the exalted, the creator and owner of all blessings. The greatest of these blessings is faith. This must be protected and strengthened through gaining and acting on Islamic knowledge. Faith is like a plant which must be constantly taken care of and nourished through learning and acting on Islamic knowledge. The death of this plant will extinguish the light of one's faith, which will result in them being left in darkness in both worlds. The final type of oppression is when one mistreats others. Allah, the exalted, will not forgive these sins until the oppressor's victim forgives them first. As people are not so merciful, this is unlikely to happen. Then justice will be established on judgment day where the oppressor's righteous deeds will be given to their victim and if necessary the victim's sins will be given to the oppressor. This may lead to the oppressor being hurled into hell. This has been warned in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 6579. One must avoid this outcome by treating others how they wish to be treated by people. A Muslim must avoid all forms of oppression if they desire a guiding light in this world and in the next. 